hello guys this is your girl Miriam again how are you today I hope you're all doing great and today I'm going to introduce to you how I make my Nigerian puff puff you know Nigerian puff puff there's nothing like it it's yummy it's nice and it's as you can hear my little one smiling she loves to eat Nigerian puff puff even though she's so little, but she just loves it. So if you'd love to know how to make my Nigerian puff puff, and also to see how I serve my Nigerian puff puff, why don't you stay with me? So friends, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Come on, encourage me to produce more videos, okay? So please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share to your friends and family who would love to make some Nigerian puff puff. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so to make this batch of puff puff, what we'll be needing are some sugar, some instant yeast, some flour, some salt, some nutmeg. I usually, uh, we usually use nutmeg in the Nigerian way, but for me, I've come to love cinnamon and I've uh, decided to always substitute my nutmeg with cinnamon. So I use cinnamon instead. And then uh, some vanilla essence. I love vanilla essence because the flavor it gives is just, you know, inviting. So I I mix everything, all the dried ingredients. I mix them together: the sugar, the salt, the instant yeast, and the the cinnamon. I mix them all together, and then mix them all together until it's all totally blended. I mix my vanilla essence with some water, some warm water, and then I mix around. Make sure to mix it. Um, this whisk is not working out for me so I'll go back to my traditional wooden spoon that I usually use to mix it okay so as you can see I keep whisking I keep turning and mixing you keep mixing until the batter is soft and fluffy and well blended with no lumps in it So you keep beating, you keep beating until it's like this smooth. You can see the consistency right now. It's even beginning to activate. That's why you can see the rise already. So I keep beating and beating. And when I'm done beating it, I usually look for somewhere dark and warm to keep it. So that it can rise. Okay, so now that I'm done, I go ahead to cover with a foil to prevent any air from getting into it so that the yeast can activate properly. And then when I'm done with the foil, I cover with the with a towel. I will now put it into my oven because it's a dark warm place so I put it inside my oven so this is 50 minutes later and this is what I have as you can see it has like doubled in size because the yeast has uh, done its job and then everything is uh, ready this is just my puff puff this is the consistency for a nice yummy Nigerian doll. I love it warm actually. When it gets cold, I don't really, really love it anymore. Except I kind of sometimes I just put it in a microwave, but it's better when it's warm. So I oil my hand so that it doesn't get too sticky. And I put my pan on the fire. As you can see, the oil is already on the fire. 
So after a while, when it has gotten to the desired temperature that I want it to be, I start to put in my puff puff. So you never can tell when is the right time because if you let the oil so hot, it gets bad and it gets burnt without cooking properly inside. So what I do, I just do some testing. I put five to six uh, balls of uh, puff puff just to see what's happening and see if it's uh, the way I would like it to be and wait for a while. Okay, as you can see, uh, I'd like my, yeah, I'd like my temperature to be this temperature right here, this temperature. So I start to add in all the, all the puffs. I start to add in my dough. As you can see, once you add the dough, it kind of goes deep into the oil. And then after a while, you see them all puffing up. Just watch and see. You see them after a while puffing up. Do not worry if it goes down to the the pan, it will always puff up. As you can see, they are all up. And from what you can see, you can see that some of them are already golden brown because I tasted some, you know, putting some few of them in the beginning before adding the rest. So it's fine, it's okay. All you have to do is when it's golden brown, you scoop out the ones that are ready and leave the rest to cook. And when it's all done, you scoop them all out. Some will just naturally flip and some will not flip. You just help them to flip over. So that first batch is done and I've scooped them all out, all out of the pan. And this is a new batch. You can see these ones are actually frying better than the first batch because the oil is just where I want it to be right now. So some people would usually make their puff in small sizes uh, because some people like to just eat it with a toothpick. Just take one and straight into the mouth. But for me, I like to make it a little bit bigger. After all, it's for me and my family. It's not for sale. So I don't have that patience to make it all so small, you know. And just make it this size. You can have two bites out of one puff instead of just having one in the mouth. So I just wait to finish this next batch of puff puff so I can show you what I do with my puff puff when it's made. Okay, as you can see, some of them, uh, they will just turn over again. They just keep turning over by themselves. And uh, like I told you, you don't need to bother. You just have to flip them around. If they don't flip around, you flip them around until it's golden brown. Some will be golden brown on one side and the other side light brown. It's fine. It's all done. Once it's done, you know it's done. So as you can see, it's all almost ready.
so now my puff puff is done and what I want to do now is uh, mix together some melted butter some uh, liquid milk not liquid milk like what not condensed milk evaporated milk and then some icing sugar so I want to actually coat them in this if you love Dunkin Donuts the ice glazed ones then you will know what I'm trying to do uh, I'm trying to coat them in ice and make it you know so yummy it depends on how you want your ice on it if you want more ice you could go ahead and sprinkle some right now now that it's a little bit white or else you wait for it to get dried still it will be glazed with ice uh, but it will not be so much but it's just perfect just the way I like it if you want more ice go ahead it's your choice drizzle on it sprinkle and it's gonna be wonderful after I'm done with it, after I'm done with the ice glazed ones, I go ahead and I put in some dark chocolate, melt it in, and then uh, once the melting is done and it's smooth, I go ahead to also uh, coat these ones in chocolate too, because I really do love, love, love my Dunkin' Donuts, the chocolate ones, the ice glazed ones. Oh my goodness, those are the best. I love dark chocolate. You could do it with a cocoa. You could use, you could use bon vita. You could use Milo. You could use some chocolate. Melt them. So I just add in some chocolate into the already melted, uh, the one I made for the eyes and sugar. Then once it's melted, I just you know turn around some of my puff in them as you can see, and then I make some chocolate, uh, coated ones or glazed ones. I really love the chocolate glazed ones. I love them. And then, oh my God, if you eat them now, though the chocolate is not yet dried, it's wet and it's yummy in your mouth. Oh, believe me, it is so yummy. You want to try it out. Just try it out. You will not regret it. Miriam said so. You will not regret it. So guys, thanks for watching this tutorial on how to make your Nigerian puff puff. <laughs> That's my little one laughing at me. And I'm sure she's saying, please like, share and subscribe to my mommy's video. Bye.